Hello again, everybody. This is Show and Tell, and I am your host, Chris, where I will be talking about uh, my collection of... At the moment, it'll be all Dragon Ball stuff, but eventually I'll get into other collectible items that I've acquired over the years, Dragon Ball being my favorite. If you've watched any of these before, you know I've got a ton of Dragon Ball stuff, and I'm going to be doing them on the weekends, briefly talking about them, uh, you know, maybe how I feel about them, and uh, where I got them, and that kind of stuff. And today is Vegeta, so let us jump right in. I've actually got quite a few of these, more than I realized I had... I had, over the over the years, acquired... Uh, this guy's really cool. He is... Uh, I'm not going to move him a whole lot. He... Because he doesn't stand. He's got little tiny... Little tiny baby feet. Uh, but he's fully articulated. You can put him in pretty much any position that you would like. Like, 20-some points of articulation. I really like his hair. Uh, it looks right. His face, more or less, looks pretty right. Um... I, I like his, uh, I like the details in the armor, shoulder pads. I, like I said, he's got little tiny weirdo feet. Uh, he came with these uh, optional different hands that you could pop on, uh, pop on and off. Uh, and I just chose these for now. Um, but yeah, this is a, it's a really good one. It's really well articulated and all that. Just from the back, everything's good. Good, solid, defining lines in the armor and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to get him to stand so... Give it a second, see if I can get him to stand with his stupid little feet. Uh, you know what? You're going to lay down. Uh, this guy, I'm actually only briefly going to touch. Uh, he came in this package. He's an old one, old battle collection. Uh, one of the old originals. He was like the first, uh, one of the first, like, three or five. Or no, he was number four. Yeah, he's number four right there on the bottom, you can see. Um, he is... Uh, his armor is broken, so as soon as I pick him up, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. He's a little, he's a little bit. Uh, his armor got broken back in the day, um, but I'll I'll try to lean him so you can see right now. Okay, he fell, but uh, underneath the armor, armor see it's a little less defined, but still pretty cool. Um, I'll take off the armor. He looks all scrawny and goofy without it. Uh, look at look at this difference in hair. All right, check out the hair from the front. And now look at the hair from the side. He looks like a rooster. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like a freaking rooster. Um, not much more to say about this. this. is one of the old ones. And so, you know, it's pretty simple. It's pretty solid and simple. Uh, I have got this one. This is pretty uninspired. It's a really well-made figure, but it's just there's nothing to it. He just came by himself in a package uh, that I, I think it was a blister pack that I got from uh, from from wherever. Honestly, I do not remember. It might have been a Walmart or something back when they were selling these a lot more often. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to say about it. Uh, I mean, his, his he's got a decent expression on the face. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, mostly, I mean, he's just solid. There's not much to say about it. He's pretty. He's you know, he's one solid chunk of Vegeta. Uh, this guy right here is uh, is one of my favorites. This is one of the uh, the types that you snap on, the, with the, the armor that snaps on and off. Um, I love the yellow hair. They did good with uh, the, 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 the way that they did the hair and stuff. Uh, not a whole lot to say. He's got good lines on his feet. Um, it's, uh, he came in the, this package back here as uh, another one of the Super Battle Collection. As you can see, it, it looks like he was number seven. And, uh, this package actually got a little bit damaged. I've had it for so, so long. I think it was in my, uh, in my closet, and actually the package got damaged. So I'm not sure how much any of these are worth anymore. Probably not a whole lot since they're out of the package, and the packages are a little damaged. Um, but anyway, that was that guy. And I like the yellow hair better than the gold hair. I feel like the gold hair is just, eh, you know, like they have yellow hair. They don't have gold hair. Um, another uh, battle collection guy... Uh, again, not much to say. Pretty, just normal, solid. For some reason, his feet make me think of, like, the Grinch. He's got big, weird, pointy feet, like a Who from Whoville or something. <laughs> uh, the, I'll do the big guy behind him also, because that one is, uh, he's a little special. Uh, because he's big, he's got lines in the hair. It's not, it's not the greatest. I don't have... 
Uh, I've only got two of the large Vegetas, and this one is not... There's nothing really special about him. Nothing much to say, except he's got the gold hair with the lines in it. His face is really pretty dumb looking. I mean, look at that face. Uh, you know, feet... Feet look pretty good. The boots look alright. Uh, there's so many of these. I'll keep moving along. The, uh... This one here, he's a uh, super skinny Majin Vegeta. He's got a creepy look on his face, but he's super skinny. He's very, very scrawny. He looks like uh, Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club or something. <laughs> anyway, it's one of the only Majin Vegeta figures that I've seen around. Um, and then we've got the uh, this very odd one. Uh, just Vegeta wearing a regular... Wearing, you know, street clothes, which he only does in, like, one episode, I believe. And, uh, there's not, uh, that's pretty much it. Just, he, he wears that in, like, one episode, and that's, that's it. And, uh, last but not least, this is my new favorite guy. Super great. Love the look on the face. Love all of, pretty much everything about it. I love the hair. They just, they really put in a lot of time and effort. And I think that's fantastic. Uh, he comes in this box over here. And uh, I am just about out of time, so I am going to tell you guys what we are going to be talking about next week in just a moment. Frieza's Minions and some Saiyans.